Hi everybody, my name is Danny and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, I just want to timestamp this video here. So today is today is Friday. Today is Friday, May 20 Today is Friday, May 25, 2018. It's it's I I've got to be honest here and transparent. It's I know it's a little odd. It's 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 12:27 a.m. here. Yeah. So um as you can tell, sometimes I can be kind of a night owl, if you've gotten to know me for a little bit. Um, okay, so today we're going to be doing what we have here is, it's, the actual name is, is, Pil, Pils, Pil, um, Pillsbury Wiener Wrap. So everyone knows the Pillsbury Doughboy, right? Um, the Pillsbury Doughboy, which would be, um, see? You should be able to see the, Pillsbury Doughboy, Pillsbury Doughboy right there, right? It's kind of like, you know how when people gain weight or they become fat and you want and you want to make fun of them, you always call them the Pillsbury Doughboy. But anyways, so um, these I've always seen them on TV and stuff, and they always look so delicious. Um, not that long ago, I've, I when I went to the movie theater, they would sell them there too. But it's, I've always wanted to buy them or, or make them for myself but I finally got around to it this time so this is my first time this is my first time ever making these which is kind of why I wanted to um, make this video because it's um, it's kind of exciting right when you when you get to um, do anything for the first time so um, I just wanted to just make a little video and take you through my experience of making um, Pillsbury Wiener Wraps for the first time ever. So I'm definitely a newbie. It's going to be a learning experience for me. So it seems like, um, so basically speaking, um, you have like basically um, the hot dog or the wiener part of a hot dog and then you and then what you do is the Pillsbury part you just wrap it around it right so I'm just going to read the instructions here okay let me see here prep Preparation instructions. Remember, I have no idea how to do these. Okay, preparation instructions. Okay. Heat oven to 375 Fahrenheit. Heat oven to 375 Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to do that right now. So, 375 Fahrenheit. Three seventy-five, and it usually takes a few minutes to preheat. So I'm going to time that. And make sure I don't have anything in the oven, which I did. Uh, glad I checked. Okay. What's the next thing that we have to do here? So, the next thing is... Un unroll dough. 
remember the package says that you, this is a, this this package right here is enough is enough dough for six but um, right now I'm only going to make two of them two of them for me, for me. So two out of those six to keep in mind so the next step is unroll unroll the dough so separate into six rectangles rectangles place okay what's next it says place 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 one uncooked wiener lengthwise lengthwise on each dough rectangle roll up and place roll up and place seam side down seam side seam side down on greased cookie sheet bake for 13 to 16 minutes or until golden brown okay So, what am I, how am I going to do this? First, I need to get my cookie sheet. So, let's just try to work, work on that. something over the cookie sheet. I have aluminum foil, so that would be the next step. Sorry about that. Doesn't look I have any aluminum. I don't have any aluminum foil left, or probably, ideally, um, wax paper would have been better. But um, I don't need it. We'll just use. We'll just go without. We'll just put it right on the. Uh,
weight on the um, baking sheet. So here I just have to figure out how to open this. Is there not a thing that I can just roll? Or am I going to have to use a can opener? Yeah, there is one. kind of looks like one of those things where you can pull on but I'm scraping at it and nothing's happening. So maybe not. Mm, weird. Oh well. You know, just do it the old fashioned way with a can opener. It's weird because I bought this brand can opener not that long ago and already it doesn't seem to be working. Let's do the can opener. Uh, I just bought brand new. Let's see here. Jeez. This is like becoming difficult just to get the freaking can thing open. Ugh. It's kind of like the first step. Right. patience trying to get this open anybody else at anybody else have the same problem as me just getting the stupid thing open comment below this is why I do these videos so people can share similar problems challenges yeah.
so annoying. Must be an easier way I could do this. Don't want to cut myself either. Careful. Okay. So, remembering I've never done this before, I, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Um, okay. So, I think I'm just going to try to... Kind of squeeze it out. sure that you guys can see what I'm doing hopefully so I think I'm just gonna try to squeeze it out Looks like it's not gonna fall apart all in one shot. Wow, look at that. Thought it was okay, so we said rectangles. Six six rectangles. So let me see here. I'm having a little bit of problems with my battery here, but that's what chargers are for, so. Okay, so it says like six rectangles. Wow, this is actually gonna make six. This video go on too long. I'm try to spread it out to make six. Quite a bit more than this. 
Okay. So let's see if... Here are my wieners. And so I will... Six is quite a bit. Six is quite a bit. Let's stretch that stuff a little more. One. How am I going to make six out of this? Yeah, I'm going to stretch that out more. Hmm. Anybody else have these problems? They say six, but... The six is the more extreme sort of. It says seam down, but seam down does not make sense for me. Checking the time here. Okay. Stretch, 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 stretch. Get another one in. Get another one in. And I think for this one, I'm going to do something different and I'm going to this one I'm going to try it with this, the seam down. And then... Stretch it around, stretch it around, stretch it around. Stretch it around, check the time and my, see how much time I have left in my video. Keep these on a normal time. I don't want holes, or openings, so. And actually, I don't think I think the seam has to be down, or else it just won't work. Or else it'll just open up, I can tell by just looking at that now. 
that the seam has to go down or else it'll open up on the top. All right, so it seems like I only have enough for four. I'm only good. I only have. I only have enough for four. I only have enough for four. Okay, so checking. Don't have too much time left on this video, but. Pop these in. Pop these in. Pop those in. Hope you guys can see those. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right. So in. It says, bake it for thir 13 to 16 minutes. Okay, I'm going to time it. Okay, and in about 13 to 16 minutes, I'll be back. See you then. Okay, I'm back. There's only about two minutes left to this video, so I'm going to be very quick. Um, I forgot that I only needed, that I was only going to eat two of the uh, Pillsbury dogs. So I, I forgot that I, and so I subtracted two since. So there's only two now. I only need to eat two. I also threw in some, some, some French fries. And... Um, what else? Here's my ketchup, drink. See the ketchup. All right, and so let's try this for the first time. And uh, I'll tell you guys what my verdict is, right? Hey, these get pretty big, right? First, the first bite. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to um, put it in, in uh, ketchup. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Let's try this one with with ketchup. See what the difference is. Mmm. Excellent with ketchup too. Mmm. Highly recommend these things. Wash it down with a drink. All right. <clears throat> And of course my fries too. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, 